Channel 4 Warren Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, before we get to our forecast, take a look at how this guy over in Fargo, North Dakota is dealing with the snow there. Massive winter storm in the northern Midwest shut down roads, canceled classes and closed businesses. But Josh Framke decided he had an excuse to bring out the skis to slide through his own neighborhood. He might enjoy it, but tough conditions with gusty winds and blowing snow expected to continue. Ooh, talk about your blast of winter there. I, say, I used to live in North Dakota. It really? is tough. It's tough. Oh yeah, especially when they get a lot of snow, but know. they know how to handle it very they well. Do. And we've been really lucky so far. We have. Summer. Obviously, we haven't had too much to deal with, obviously, with this shopping weekend as mm -hmm. we enter um, holiday week stretch. next yeah. week. Yes, but our luck may be coming to an end next week, too, as we do have multiple chances for snow on the way heading into next week. Snow on the radar here heading out the door this afternoon. Exact track 40 radar scattered light snow or flurries for most everyone as you're heading out the door late this afternoon. Not looking for any accumulation, but we'll carry these light snow showers into the forecast as we go through the rest of the evening and into the overnight hours tonight. 34 right now here in Detroit, 33 over in Howe, 32 right now working into Pontiac and 34 over in Adrian. So most everyone running about 10 degrees colder than we were this time yesterday. You can see that snow moving right into the region, still all pivoting around an area of low pressure. We been talking about for days right over portions of Wisconsin. This is the one that had blizzard conditions out over portions of the Dakotas a couple days ago. As this low moves off to the east, it's going to keep us on the cloudy side of things and also keep the chances for a few light snow flurries or snow showers into the forecast throughout the entire weekend. Clouds and radar has that in the forecast by 11 o'clock tonight. Again, no accumulation expected, but do expect those flakes to be flying around. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, much of the same. Cloud cover sticks around scattered light snow and or flurries throughout much of the day. We'll carry that into the evening Saturday night as well and into the end of the weekend on Sunday by nine o'clock Sunday morning. Don't be surprised to see a few snowflakes flying around throughout the day, but I think we start to turn off the snow machine as we go into late Sunday night. Then next week things change because we've got a couple systems heading our way. The first one comes on Tuesday. The latest model runs have been trending north with this system. Nevertheless, we are going to keep the chance of snow in our forecast primarily north and see what the models do over the next couple days. We keep the cloud cover into the forecast for Wednesday, but then signs are a stronger system moves in as we head into late Wednesday night and Thursday. This is 11 o'clock Thursday morning right now. Snow moving into all of Michigan and some of the latest model trends are trying to bring a little bit of a wintry mix in south of Detroit with some warmer air coming in. Not completely sold on that solution yet. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but then we keep the snow in the forecast the rest of Thursday and into Friday next week. And if this model solution verifies this would be an accumulating snow for the region just in time heading into Christmas next weekend. Kings versus Pistons tonight 7 o'clock at LCA right around 34 by 6 o'clock dropping to the low 30s by the time we get to 10 o'clock tonight. Then the weekend we're into the low 30s both days holding on to those chances for light snow and or snow showers both days and then we've got that chance of snow mainly north into the forecast on Tuesday and then more chances for snow heading into the forecast Thursday and Friday temperatures start to nosedive. We're in the middle 20s for daytime highs by Friday. All right. Well, we can take it. I Absolutely. Guess. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.